Nick DeVries is out and the honey badger is back in. Hey, welcome back everybody. Damn, now that is some news. Why is this happening right now? We saw Ricardo get in and start testing some tires. That was Pirelli tire testing day. Um, well, for us in the States, it's uh, yesterday. But, um, and then all of a sudden today, we just started seeing Ricardo here, Ricardo there. Then all of a sudden, DeVries, DeVries out, DeVries out. I first saw it when um, somebody tweeted something about the, the Telegraph, which is a, uh, a newspaper or a media outlet back in the Netherlands. And they affirmed that the Vries out at AlphaTauri and Ricardo is back in. I didn't want to come out and say anything until something official. Then I just saw the F1 official Twitter mentioning that Ricardo is back in. Now, how do I feel about this? I mean, I'm happy. I like Ricardo. Ricardo and Checo for me are my favorite drivers out there and yes it did hurt me that ricardo didn't have a seat then i was happy and then i just started enjoying all the memes about ricardo trying to kill checo so that he can get the seat and all that that was awesome but if you stop and think about it ricardo did not want any second tier seat for this year and he wanted to hold off until 2024 what changed his mind well it's simple he's in the red bull family AlphaTauri is the Red Bull Junior team, and he already has his foot in the door. He's, you know, a uh, he's a reserve driver. What good could it make, you know, could it be to him to go to AlphaTauri? I'm pretty sure that they offered him something. You know, if you come and do this now, and you help us develop this car, which starting next year is going to be looking more and more like a Red Bull, if you start helping us develop this car, who knows what can happen in the future? Checo's contract is up at the end of 2024. People are already putting pressure on him, which is another subject totally, which I do want to get into uh, at a later video. But, you know, everybody's saying that he should leave and Ricardo should come in. It's like, stop it, people. Stop it. And I'm going to tell you why. But uh, right now, I just wanted to come on and say, God damn, we have some personality back into F1. I'm so excited, so excited to see this happen. Uh, you know, I'm yeah. in Hungary, he will be back in and, uh, I wish I could be in Hungary to see him back at the uh, grid, but yeah, it is what it is. People now we just have to enjoy it. Nick DeVries, I, I don't have an opinion on him. I think what he did last year, subbing in and getting those points, um, you know, without any practice or anything was really, really special. And I had a lot of hopes for him, but he kind of let us down this year. And the worst part is that he has no, you know, no personality. It, he's kind of like, mm, you know, it's like Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen doesn't have that great of a personality. He's kind of, mm, but guess what? He's a freaking monster driving a car. So yeah, I mean, and Nick DeVries, you had to have something behind your whole hum bland, you know, persona to really stand out. Here, we'll see what happens, but I am excited to see what is going to be going on now that Ricardo is back behind the wheel, albeit not the best car out there one of the worst cars out there if not the worst but let's see what he can do okay let's see you know it's gonna be ricardo and yuki <laughs> those two together i mean that's that's genius i love it so i'm excited let's see what happens and whoo this got me sparked back up to start coming out here and talking to you guys again so see you next time people